Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of Majora's Mask Randomizer. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, did I get, I'm pretty sure I did get all of the, uh, the keys. I'm, I'm not sure if I got them off of record. Well, maybe not all the keys, but... Well, actually, yeah, I think I know where one is, and I'm just gonna check real quickly if I have the Scarecrow song. I don't? Or did I play a different song for the Scarecrow song? I'll need to check real quickly to see if I got it or not. I was sure that I did. But let's let's go check real quickly. But anyway, at the end of last episode, uh, or somewhere around the end of the last episode, last couple episodes maybe, uh, we did finally get the fire arrows after so long. And, you know, with that, that means that we can now get through the Snowhead Temple. And you may also hear my cat meowing again. She's given that sort of lonely meowl, as I like to call it. Hey, kitty! Kitty, kitty, kitty! But anyway, another peculiar thing that happened, like after I had uh, played the Song of Time, and, uh, well, after I finished the recording, I stopped... Well, after I stopped the recording, I uh, played the Song of Time so I could prepare myself for entering the Snowhead Temple. And then as soon as I did, uh, Tattle says, Wait, you still haven't solved the problem up at Snowhead. And that was something that I've never seen before. Apparently Tattle, like, calls you out if you, uh, finish the temples out of order. Like, maybe... You know, like if you do the Great Bay Temple before doing the Snowhead Temple, Tattle apparently calls you out for that. Which is something I did not even know. Now, normally I would do the temples all in order. In fact, I think you would need to start them in order, even if you don't finish them in order. Okay, so I do have one key, but I, I'm pretty sure that we don't need all of the keys to get through this uh, completely because I happen to have the fire arrows. And I don't have any arrows to uh, use them with. Yeah, I have never heard my cat do- Well, actually I have heard her do those huge meowls from time to time. But I don't think I've ever had them be recorded. At least not during a uh, Let's Play video. Come on, one of these has to have arrows in them. Yeah, I know that you've seen a lot of the Snowhead Temple already, but there there won't be a lot that will be shown here. We'll just mostly do some of the things that we haven't done before. Okay, now we've got arrows. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, because I did this a couple episodes ago, is to call for the Scarecrow, which was why I needed to find the Scarecrow song. And I also figured out that that last uh, space is where the powder kegs go, so whenever we get the powder kegs, we'll be able to uh, use them. Tattle is flying somewhere. Like... Like, do I need to... Oh, yeah, I think I do need to melt the ice here so we can get through this door. Okay, and there we go. At least this time I'm not pressed for time. Because last time I was depending on uh, the hot spring water. And I'm not given a lot of time to get, get all of that taken uh, care of. Because, you know, the the hot spring water will melt. Where am I supposed to go on to next? Isn't there like a torch that I'm supposed to hook shot onto? I don't see it anywhere. Like, I think it's all the way over here. I know that I've done this before. There it is. There it is. Can I reach it? There we go. I could reach it. So, so that's pretty swell. Better go and uh, fight that, uh, Wizdrobe again, because he does have another key, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna need more than, uh, one key to get through this. 
Although, I just realized something. Well, I'll, I'll worry about it as soon as I fight the Wizrobe again. But, but what I realized is that I have not risen the pillar. Although, I may want to actually see what else I can get done first before I worry about that. Or it might be a good idea to actually take care of that right away. Wow, I actually thought that that was not gonna get him, but it did, you know, like, it looked like he was, he jump slashed in the wrong direction, but he got it. Alright, so there, we now have two Snowhead Temple boss keys, or not boss keys, but two Snowhead Temple keys. I really don't know why I said boss key. Also, did I get the Snowhead Temple boss key? Something tells me I forgot it. Okay, where did I find it before? I need to uh, check. Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, the Snowhead boss key is the Moon's Tear. So, I think I may need to go for that real quickly. So I'm back now, and I was actually about to use the Scarecrow song to raise the pillars up a bit more, but... But instead, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, wait, raise the pillar up? I don't know what I just said. Okay, anyway, what we're gonna be doing now... Whatever I said before, what we're gonna be doing now is we are going to press down on that switch right there to raise the pillars up. And thankfully, I actually have the fire arrows this time. Uh, it, I do remember how a couple episodes ago, I was like trying to run through here using the, using a lit Deku torque or Deku stick. But no matter how fast I went, it, I the torch just went out before I could light even one torch. Yeah, like, I went to the closest one, but the closest one was not close enough. Wow, I did not expect the the Deku Bubba to be killed in one hit. Yeah, I was pretty sure that uh, the Goron transformation does jump onto the switch. Well, at least this time around, I can actually use this shortcut right here, since I do have the fire arrows now, so I can just activate this shortcut in the intended way. And, of course, with the fire arrows, we can now melt the ice right here and not have to worry about hot spring water, like, like we did before. Alright, so here's the point where I got stuck the last time we were here. Alright, there we go. We can finally go up this path. We couldn't before, but now we can. Oh, I am gonna do this as Fierce Deity Link. Because why not? Wow! I killed two lizards with one sword. Alright, so that fairy has the circus leader's mask, which does absolutely nothing. Oh, and I got a bottle of milk from this fairy. Okay. I mean, about the only thing that the circus leader's mask is really good for is helping to get the fierce deity mask at the end of the game, which we already have. 
but even if we could, or we do need to collect all of the masks in order to get all of the prizes in the game, I don't think that we're going to be able to do it anyway, because if you've watched the first time that I've done a Let's Play on a Majora's Mask, the inside of the moon is like all completely black, so I would need to rely on instinct or rely on luck in order to talk to all of the moon children. So I don't think that we're going to be able to do that. I really wish that people would comment on my videos more often so that they could tell me if there is something that I need to do to improve on the emulator since the one that I'm using, Project version project 64 version 1.6 are there any emulators that you would recommend that i use i suppose i could ask the the maker of the the randomizer what uh what emulator he would recommend that i use in fact that might be a good idea by the way I think I remember saying a couple episodes ago, although I do, did add it in the uh, text during editing. You know, like how I had mentioned that some of the music tracks from the never-finished ROM hack of Ocarina of Time called Underground Castle made their way into uh, the Majora's Mask randomizer. And you know how... Yeah, I think that I said in that video, although I did actually also add on a text uh, stating what I'm going to say next, I had said maybe Death Basket, who did Underground Castle, allowed the person who did Majora's Mask Randomizer to uh, use those music tracks. But through my research, I think Death Basket is also the guy who created the Majora's Mask Randomizer. Okay, now I'm not quite sure if I should fight Goat or God or however you pronounce his name. I've always pronounced it as God because, you know, the H should be, like, silent, but some people have pronounced it as Goat. So I'm not quite sure what the official pronunciation is or if Nintendo is just okay with people pronouncing it both ways. Like, maybe it's just a tomato-tomato thing. So as soon as we have gotten, uh, Got, or whatever his name is, Got, Go, Tomato, Tomato, as soon as we have gotten him defeated, that leaves open quite a lot of chests over in, uh, Snowhead, or in the mountain village, for us to, uh, open. And there we go again with the music from, um, Last Impact, although I'm pretty sure it was not from Last Impact specifically. I'm pretty sure it might be from some other uh, video game. I'm not sure which, though. I just remember it being the music that plays for Kerma Koopa in Mario 64 Last Impact. And what's also interesting is that the boss theme for Majora's Mask the music that would normally play for this instance was also used in Last Impact. It was used for the the snake boss and the and the fish boss. All right, there we go. We have defeated God. Now, I do hope that one of the chests that we can now open as soon as this boss fight is done with does contain the powder keg because we have not gotten the powder keg. Although we barely even needed the powder keg anyway throughout this playthrough since I just used for his deity link to jump over the boulder to Romani Ranch. 
Did we listen to the full theme here before? Or did I enter the portal too quickly to have it uh, play all the way through? All right, so we got another ocean Skulltula token. So we just need uh, four more of those before we can get the prize for for uh, what is it? Uh, for the ocean side spider house. Oh, and speaking of the witch, I am also going to need to gather all the frogs here. I'll do that off of recording, like maybe. Maybe I'll do it for the next episode. I'm not sure if I will do it for this one. Probably depends on how much time we have. But anyway, now that we have beaten the Snowhead Temple, there's some more stray fairies, or well, yeah, stray fairies, but some more chests that we can now open. And I found a stray fairy for the Snowhead Temple. I found 14 of them now. Yeah, I don't know how I can check to see how many of the stray fairies I've gotten so far. Alright, now to uh, see what is in this hole. I also wonder how soon we'll find the Song of Healing, because, you know, those are, the Song of Healing is a song that you normally would learn at, at the start of the game, but for the longest time in this game, ah, good, the Giant's Mask. So whenever we fight Twin Mold, that will come in handy. Ah. Yeah, I just wonder if we'll find the Song of Healing in, uh, in this episode. Like, I wonder where it could be. I wonder where it could be. Okay, and of course there are two chests that are found in the water right here. All right, now to uh, go into the water here. And open up the chest. Oh, and that pea hat is underwater. Oh, so I found the land title deed. So now we can, hmm. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we found the land title deed, which means that we can finally get whatever prize uh, that business scrub has to give to us. And we can also get the heart piece on top of the tourist shop. Okay, so I found the the letter to Mama. Oh man. Uh, can you deliver that letter to Madame Aroma without going through cat the cafe side quest? I'm not sure though. I, I could try it out. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the Southern Swamp to see if I can actually, uh, or go to the Southern Swamp and trade the land title deed. Alright, uh, here you are. Alright, so another Skulltula token for the ocean. So now we just need to find three more of those. And what are we gonna get right here? It was just a hard piece. It was it was normal. It was it was what you get normally. Okay. Well, you know, I think I may just have to go around and get all of the uh, the frogs for the frog choir. I've also noticed now that we only have two masks left. What are those masks? Well, okay. Well, one of them is Cafe's mask. That I know of, uh, but what was the other one? Um, it's not coming into my mind right now. I certainly cannot believe that I forget uh, the, these masks so easily. Like sometimes when I'm trying to remember all of the masks, there's always one that I may forget. You know, like if I list the masks in my mind in order from the one that you get earliest in the game to latest in the game, I always come across an instance where I uh, just forget one and just have to back travel. 
Okay, well, uh, we'll find it eventually. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and gather the frog choir, then meet you guys back over at the, uh, you know, at the frog choir. So, BRB. Alright guys, I just uh, beaten that last uh, frog enemy, a uh, gecko, I think that's what those enemies are called. The ones that turn into frogs as soon as you beat them. And I have remembered that another uh, thing that we can do is light the torches here. Normally you're given uh, some rupees for doing this, but we could be given anything. You know, I could have sworn that there were like two, two torches, I mean four torches and not just two. Am I just remembering it incorrectly or did they make it so that there were only two torches for the randomizer? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we got for this one. We got a heart piece, so now we got 19 hearts. Anyway, let's now go see what uh, prize those frogs have to give to us. I also had remembered that we we cannot get get the letter to Mama uh, because we don't have Cafe's mask. I'm not sure if she would appear anyway, but even if she did, we can't get that one right now because we don't have Cafe's mask, and you need to have Cafe's mask in order to speak to her. Okay, so we were given Bomb Chew for this one. Okay, I was actually hoping that we would find uh, the powder keg uh, at any point here because we need to have the powder keg in order for us to blow up the boulder blocking the Goron track. But it looks like I may just have to just carry that powder keg as part of the trial again. And I really do not want to do that, but it looks like we're, we're going to have to do that. What I'm going to be uh, doing is checking to see if the prizes in the Goron shop change. Okay, I'm going to look down here like one more time to see if there is actually an invisible chest in here or not. Because I just do not remember. Okay, well, the Lens of Truth are working normally for once down here. Okay, so no invisible chest there. There's a chest that's always visible here. Okay, not there. Okay, one more boulder. Okay, well, I guess there's just one chest down here after all. I'm not sure if I'm going to remember that for the next time I play a Majora's Mask randomizer, but, you know, there you go. There's only one chest down there. I thought maybe there would be more of them, but no, there's only one. What a shame. So I'm going to go and see if the Goron shop prizes have changed if you manage to beat the Snowhead Temple, because what I do know is that in the normal game, the prices are decreased after after you have beaten the uh, beaten the temple. Okay, well, it looks like they're just the same. Okay. So, no change there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, powder keg again and just carry this around. We don't need to speak to him this time, be or we don't need to speak to him after we've blown up the boulder since we already got the prize for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm thinking that the next thing that we can do is get through the Akana Castle. Pretty sure I will still be able to do that. Alright, so now I'm gonna go enter the race and hopefully get a prize from this. Hopefully it's a good prize. Hopefully it's either Cafe's Mask, that other mask that I can't remember. Uh, Powder Caves, which would be ironic for this place. The Song of Healing, and, or the Song of Storms. I hope it's one of those things. Or the boss key for the Stone Tower Temple, because we have still not gotten that. And I've gone through most of the Stone Tower Temple already, it's just that I am just missing a key for that. And of course, we did find the Lens of Truth, thankfully. So, oh, not the Lens of Truth, the Giant's Mask, so that whenever we do fight the boss of Stone Tower Temple, which I do remember the name, by the way, and just saying Stone Tower Temple boss, because I feel like it. We'll be able to fight Twin Mold, and then we should be able to uh, get the rest of the items in the game and then beat it. And I will actually beat the boss this time. I remember rage quitting uh, last time when I played Majora's Mask Randomizer. What will happen this time? I think the problem was is that I could not find the Fierce Deity Mask anywhere because I didn't have Moon Shuffler on, even though I thought I did. Oh no! Oh, I was so close! I was like... I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna beat him just in one go, but no! He, he passed me at the last minute. Alright, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna cut out all of the fails. And then I'll cut back to when I finally come in first. Alright, I I made it. I was safe stating during this, but I made it in one go. Well, in two goes, actually. Counting the first time that I tried it. Oh, it was a hard piece. It was none of the prizes that I was hoping for. Oh, that is quite unfortunate. Okay, well... At least we managed to get that out of the way. Uh, so I think our next stop is going to be at uh, Akana Castle. Because that's the only thing that I can think of doing right now. So I think that I will end off the episode right here. And at the start of the next episode, we will go to Akana Castle. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again in the next episode.